During the 1951-1952 season, Astrid Varnay sang the role of the Marschallin in Der Rosenkavalier for the first time in the composer's hometown of Munich. She called it the Varnay Guest Week as she sang Fidelio, Isolde, Elisabeth in Tannhäuser, Zenta, Salome, and the Marschallin. She had only covered Lehmann as the Marschallin at the Met and was unaware of the city's tie to the composer, so she got this engagement as a result of a mild deception. It was also at this time that she and her husband began to think of Munich as their permanent home. We had very good people for the Rosen Cavalier, especially the protagonists. Two different types, Risa Stevens, Yarmila Novovna. Risa Stevens, the boyish, I never, when she played with me and sang with me, played actually, I never knew whether this was a girl or a boy with whom I was playing. It was wonderful, just looked like a young man. And as far as Novovna, that was the elegant baron in his youth. Mm -hmm. Both of them gave a marvelous interpretation. Valid. Valid. Equally Completely. valid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Nadine Connor. Oh, yes. We had some very fine singers. Mm -hmm. They were chosen. I asked Madame Varnay to describe the Marshallin's thoughts as she makes her final entrance in Act Three. She comes in. She is, of course, disappointed that this has happened so rapidly. All of this emotion and yet she is a woman of knowledge, of quality, and she can forgive things, which the young people do, even if it hurts. What hurts was it happened so quickly. If it had been an affair of a little endurance, then it would have been different. 
And when Fanny now talks about Sinfalza so the Junge Lloyd, yeah, yeah. That yeah, yeah means yes, I understand, but the way I understand it, nobody else does. Let's walk. <laughs> <laughs> this feeling of relaxed people when they brag about certain things. Oh, yeah, of course. Let him have his say so. But deep within, Deep within she walks off, and at the same time, when the little um, assistant, the, the little boy, comes in and dances and finds the handkerchief, we are then told they're all driving in a carriage. Life goes on, and it will continue. In 1953, Astrid Varney was invited to inaugurate the New York Philharmonic season as a guest artist at Carnegie Hall, commemorating Tullio Serafin's 50th anniversary as a conductor. Ms. Varney was hoping to establish her credentials as a singer of Italian opera in the city of New York, but it was not to be. Serafin had always wanted to conduct Wagner and wanted to perform the Liebestod from Tristan und Isolde. He got his wish. <laughs> 